now we looked at the truth table we were able to you know uh, talk about you know uh, a truth table with ones at you know so so many locations now is that the only way is this the only way to represent such an output here is this the only way where I have to list all the eight, uh, you know, two power n combinations and then show you where the ones are? Well, no. Uh, it is also possible for us to represent this in a slightly different way. Okay, let's take the same example. A2, A1, A0. Again, I keep repeating, please get used to writing these 2 power n combinations for any number of inputs. Okay, you should know how to do it very quickly, right? It comes only by practice, right? So now I will take, I'll take the same example that we did, right? Or I'll take another example. Let me consider an other output, y3, which is something like this, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay, so let me also represent what is the decimal value, decimal value of this thing. Okay, so uh, if I take, you know, the A2, A1, A0, assume that A0 is my LSB. Okay, this is my MSB. Okay, then I could, so this representation 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, etc. corresponds to the decimal value 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7, right. And therefore, I could represent Y3 as a summation. Right. So, instead of writing out this entire truth table, right, y, maybe I will say y3 is equal to some f3 of a2, a1, a0, okay, is the sum of the min terms 0, okay, this is 0, decimal value 1. Uh, and then the last one, 7, right? Now, this is what I am going to represent as a min term because it's a min term. That is, I'm uh, going to represent this with a small m suffix 0. This is m1, m2, m3, m4, m5, m6, m7, okay. So, these min terms basically correspond only to the inputs, do not look at the outputs here, right. So, I could also write this as summation m0, m1, m7, okay. And then I could go ahead and do the Boolean simplification for this. Right. So, let us simply look at, you know, what happens in this case. In this case, M0, okay, the min term 0 is obviously A2 bar, A1 bar, A0 bar. M1, okay, is A2 bar, A1 bar, A0, okay. And M7 is obviously A2, A1, A0. Therefore, the function y3 equal to f3 of a2, a1, a0 is simply going to be a2 bar, a1 bar, a0 bar plus a2 bar, a1 bar, a0 plus a2, a1, a0, right. And this can be simplified by essentially considering these two terms, it will simply come out as a2 bar a1 bar, 
okay into a naught bar plus a naught plus a2 a1 a naught okay and therefore this i can write it as a2 bar a1 bar plus or of course it's or a2 a1 a naught right so now the the question really is you know is this uh, you know the simplest uh, uh, form in which we can write this so that's really not not clear yet we don't know if you can simplify this uh, any any further right does it make sense to implement this in a different way so because if we try to go ahead and implement this function right now again let's look at it y3 we said is a2 bar a1 bar plus a2 a1 a0 right so again how many input and gates how many inverters do i need so to get a1 bar and a2 bar clearly i need two inverters okay then to implement a2 bar into a1 bar given that you have already generated the complement uh, of the inputs i need one okay one two input and gate and two gate okay then for a2 a1 a0 right what do i need i basically need a three input and one ek into and three gate okay and finally i need uh, an or two gate okay i urge you to you know draw out these uh, the the implementation that that is like like it is shown here for y2 as well and convin convince yourself that the expressions are all correct right so now um, you know may maybe what we can do is let's look at one more example because i am now not going to start with the truth table i am going to start uh, with uh, directly with the um uh, alternate representation right i am going to say implement a function um uh, a b c okay as m0 so by the way before we even get into this it is important to know that three inputs means there are eight combinations eight there are eight combinations here okay and therefore i am going to say m0 m1 m5 okay some three combinations so what does this mean okay we are going to assume that this is the msb and this is the lsb okay so therefore i'll have a b c and my function f here so i'm going to write out all the combinations 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 sorry again 1 0 0 1 0 1 0, 0 and 1 1 1 okay what is the decimal value 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 right so this basically corresponds to m0 m1 m2 m3 m4 m5 m6 and m7 right now therefore what do i have the function f basically is m0 m1 and m5 this is what it is so i come here and populate 1 1 and 
one here. Okay. So if I were to take this uh, representation here, right, in terms of the you know m0, m1, m5, right, and just fill out the truth table, this is exactly what I would do. Fill in zeros everywhere else, right? So now what does this Boolean simplification, you know, what is the final uh, Boolean expression for f, right? So you can simply look at this, it is going to be f is equal to a bar, b bar, c bar, right? So the min term, I will write here, a bar, b bar, c bar, a bar, b bar, c and then this is, uh, this one, right, is a, b bar into c, right. So therefore, f is going to be a bar, b bar c plus a b bar into c. So what is this? Again, I can take out a bar b bar here, take out a bar b bar into c, c bar plus c plus a b bar c. Okay, so I have a bar b bar, c plus c bar is 1, we know plus a b bar into c, okay. This can be simplified further as again take b bar out common b bar into a bar plus a c. Again the distributive law that we know already x plus y z is x plus y into x plus z in Boolean algebra. So this is b bar into a plus a bar into a bar plus c. So this, therefore this is equal to b bar a bar plus because a plus a bar is 1 plus b bar into c, right. So effectively that is what we have. So b bar into c, uh, yes, okay, and uh, yeah, okay. So therefore, uh, the effective expression that we have is basically this b bar a bar plus uh, b bar into c, right. So again, how many inverters, how many uh, AND gates and OR gates you need to implement this? Well, that is pretty straightforward. You basically look at, um, you need a, you need a bar and b bar. So you need 2x into inverter, okay. Then you need to generate b bar a bar and b bar c and therefore you need to have uh, 2x into and 2 gates okay and then 1x of or 2 gate right. So effectively this is exactly what uh, you know uh, what this is the eventual gate count, the logic gate count in order to implement this simplified Boolean expression, okay.